हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द लास्ट क्लास लास्ट क्लास आई वाज डिस्कसिंग सम टफ क्वेश्चन टफ न्यूमेरिकल्स आई वाज डिस्कसिंग दीज न्यूमेरिकल्स आर important for aims iit jee and uh, neat examination this type of question may be asked in any examination but uh, because these questions are tough hard that's why this is fit for iit advanced and aims now i am reading the question i will start from the question number 303 I have discussed up to three, not two. Now I am reading the question. Question number three, not three. If the density of water is one gram centimeter cube per centimeter cube, then the volume occupied by one molecule of water is approximately first. ऑप्शन 18 सेंटीमीटर क्यू सेकेंड ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड सेंटीमीटर क्यू थर्ड सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर क्यू एंड फोर्थ थ्री पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर क्यू वन मोर टाइम आई एम रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन If the density of water is one gram per cubic centimeter, then the volume occupied by one molecule of water is approximately first option eighteen centimeter cube, second twenty two thousand four hundred centimeter cube, third six point zero two into ten to the power minus twenty three. सेंटीमीटर क्यू एंड फोर्थ ऑप्शन थ्री पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर क्यू जस्ट यू थिंक हाउ विल यू सॉल्व ऑलरेडी ऑल कंसेप्ट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड ओके नाउ जस्ट यू थिंक नाउ आई एम गिविंग यू hint mass of one molecule of h2o that is equal to one molecule of h2o that is the 18 divided by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 mass of one molecule because 18 gram means molecular mass means one mole correct means in one mole How many molecule will be there? Then equal to atom uh, uh, this six point zero two into ten to the power twenty three molecule. Correct? Avogadro number. Then just to divide by Avogadro number, eighteen divided by Avogadro number, you will get the mass of one molecule. That will be uh, just. Uh, Roughly three into ten to the power minus twenty three gram. Then now mass you have calculated, correct? And density is given. If the density of water is one gram per centimeter cube, then volume occupied by one molecule of water you have to calculate. Volume occupied by one molecule. Then now, mass of one molecule molecule we are knowing, and volume we have to calculate. Then how will you calculate? Then you know density is equal to mass by volume. Then density you are knowing, mass you are knowing, and volume easily you can calculate. Density is equal to mass by volume. Then density is equal to one, and mass is equal to. Ma, this uh, mass 
मास इज कल टू यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड थ्री इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री देन वाट विल द वॉल्यूम द वॉल्यूम इजली यू कैन कैलकुलेट मास मास इंटू दिस थिंग्स है डेंसिटी इज कल टू मास बाई वॉल्यूम देन वॉल्यूम इज कल टू वाट मास डिवाइडेड बाई डेंसिटी एंड डेंसिटी इज कल टू वन एंड सो वाट इज द मास दैट इज द वॉल्यूम मीन्स थ्री इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर क्यूब ओके डेंसिटी इज गिवन वन ग्राम पर क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर देन नाउ इजिली यू कैन कैलकुलेट डेंसिटी इज कल टू मास वाई वॉल्यूम देन वॉल्यूम इज कल टू मास वाई डेंसिटी एंड डेंसिटी इज कल टू वन देन मास डिवाइडेड बाई वन एंड मास इज थ्री इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री ग्राम एंड वॉल्यूम विल बी सेम ओनली इन सी सी यू कैन राइट क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर देन करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ए लास्ट ऑप्शन थ्री पॉइंट जीरो इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर क्यू नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई एम रीडिंग द मास ऑफ कार्बन द मास ऑफ कार्बन प्रजेंट इन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मोल ऑफ के फोर एफ ई सी एन होल सिक्स मीन्स पोटासियम फेरोसाइनाइड द मास ऑफ कार्बन प्रजेंट इन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मोल ऑफ के फोर एफ ई सी एन होल सिक्स इज फर्स्ट ऑप्शन वन पॉइंट एट सेकेंड ऑप्शन एटीन ग्राम थर्ड ऑप्शन थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स ग्राम फोर्थ ऑप्शन थर्टी सिक्स ग्राम वन मोर टाइम आई आई एम रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन द मास ऑफ कार्बन प्रजेंट इन पॉइंट फाइव मोल ऑफ के फोर एफ ई सी एन होल सिक्स इज फर्स्ट ऑप्शन वन पॉइंट एट ग्राम सेकेंड एटीन ग्राम थर्ड थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स ग्राम फोर्थ थर्टी सिक्स ग्राम जस्ट टू थिंक नाउ आई एम गिविंग यू हिंट एक्चुअली विफ यू थिंक इन ए राइट डायरेक्शन देन यू कैन सॉल्व इट ओके इट इज नॉट इट इज ए टफ बट यू कैन सॉल्व इट बी कंसेप्ट मस्ट बी क्लियर नाउ आई एम गिविंग यू हिंट वन मोल ऑफ के फोर ए पी सी एन होल सिक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू इन दैट हाउ मेनी कार्बन आर देयर जस्ट टू सी इन दिस मोलकूल वन मोल ऑफ के फोर ए पी सी एन होल सिक्स हाउ मेनी कार्बन आर देयर देन सिक्स सी एन होल सिक्स मीन्स सिक्स सिक्स कार सिक्स आइटम ऑफ कार्बन इज देयर मीन्स सिक्स ग्राम आइटम ऑफ कार्बन इज देयर सिक्स ग्राम आइटम ऑफ कार्बन देन वाट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट मास ऑफ कार्बन प्रजेंट इन पॉइंट फाइव मोल ऑफ पॉइंट फाइव मोल ऑफ के फोर ए पी सी एन होल सिक्स मीन्स हाफ मोल देन इन वन मोल इन वन मोल सिक्स ग्राम आइटम ऑफ कार्बन इज देयर देन इन हाफ मोल हाउ मच पॉइंट फाइव मोल पॉइंट फाइव मीन्स हाफ देन इन पॉइंट फाइव मोल ऑफ के फोर एफ ई सी एन होल सिक्स थ्री ग्राम ऑफ थ्री ग्राम ऑफ आइटम ऑफ कार्बन विल बी देयर थ्री ग्राम आइटम्स ऑफ कार्बन विल बी देयर देन वाट इज एक्चुअली मास थ्री ग्राम आइटम नाउ यू कैलकुलेटेड इन हाफ मोल ऑफ पोटासियम पोटासियम फेरोसाइनाइड के फोर एफ ई सी एन होल सिक्स देन इन हाफ मोल थ्री ग्राम आइटम ऑफ कार्बन इज देयर थ्री ग्राम आइटम ग्राम आइटम देन वाट इज मास देन वन ग्राम आइटम मीन्स ट्वेल्व ग्राम हेयर ओनली यू हैव टू थिंक इन ए डिफरेंट वे बिकॉज यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड थ्री ग्राम आइटम 
that you have to tell the mass of atom. Then one gram atom means twelve. Then in three gram atom means three into twelve. That is a thirty six gram. And the correct option will be option D, thirty six gram. Now next question I am reading. Question number three not five. Zinc sulphate contains twenty two point six five percent of zinc and forty three point nine percent of water of crystallization. If the law of constant proportion is true, then the weight of the zinc required to produce twenty gram of the crystals will be first option. Forty-five point three gram. Second, four point five three gram. Third, zero point four five three three gram. Zero point four five three gram. And fourth option, four five three gram. One more time, I am reading the question. Zinc sulphate contains twenty-two point six five percent. Of zinc and forty-three point nine percent of water of crystallization. Forty-three point nine percent of water of crystallization. If the law of constant proportion is true, then the weight of zinc required to produce twenty gram of the crystal will be first option. Forty-five point three gram. Second option, four point five three gram. Third option, point four five three gram. Fourth option, four five three gram. Just to solve it, keep pen and paper with you. Now you think it. now i am giving you hint at least in your mind it should come which formula you will use how will you use at least this should come in your mind in very very less time only then you can solve it quickly okay now i am giving you hint see to prepare 20 g of the crystal According to the question, it is given that forty-three point nine percent of water of crystallization is there, and zinc sulphate. Zinc sulphate is twenty-two point six five percent. Okay, question is zinc sulphate contains twenty-two point six five percent of zinc and forty-three point nine percent of water of crystallization. Correct. And now you have to think in this way, first, and also you have to consider if the law of constant proportion is true, then the weight of the zinc required to produce twenty gram of the crystals, twenty gram of the crystal, that you have to calculate. Then now to prepare twenty gram of the crystal, how much zinc is required? Then twenty two point six five divided by hundred into twenty. Very simple way. Hundred gram according to the question. Hundred gram. In hundred gram, twenty two point six five gram zinc is there. Then for one. Then for twenty gram. Then twenty two point six five divided by hundred into twenty. It will come four point five three gram. Here question they have made little lengthy, but here you have to think that if the law of constant proportion is it true, correct? Here they have given uh, in question uh, water of uh, crystallization. No use here. No use here. Correct? And here they have given. If you can understand, you can understand. 
if the law of constant proportion is true constant proportion is true then here 43.9 percent is not a big role only it that it is given that uh, just to confuse because it will present here also correct then uh, that that 43.9 percent has no role here simple that uh, in uh, zinc sulfate 22.65 percent zinc is there then in uh, in 20 gram if uh, uh, this uh, zinc required to produce uh, 20 gram of the crystal you have to calculate then in 100 gram 22.65 gram zinc is there in 100 gram because it is percentage 22.65 percent zinc sulfate weight is there in that zinc is 22.65 percent means 100 gram zinc sulfate contains 22.65 gram zinc then for one then for 20 and correct correct our answer will be 4.53 option b is correct okay sometimes questions simply they will make long and confusing okay you should understand very clearly what is required here just for uh, uh, this 43.9 percent of water of crystallization it is given unnecessarily but they have written if the law of constant proportion is true means you have to not consider that and now you have calculated 4.53 that is option b is correct now next question i am reading 306 what volume of nh3 gas at stp would be needed to prepare 100 ml of 2.5 molal means 2.5 m small m one is the molar capital m a small m a small m means molal then again i am reading the question what volume of nh3 gas at stp would be needed to prepare 100 ml of 2.5 molal ammonium hydroxide solution first option 0 0.056 liter second 0 0.56 liter liter third 5.6 liter fourth 11.2 liter just you think again i am reading one more time uh, question what volume of nh3 gas at stp would be needed to prepare 100 ml of 2.5 molal ammonium hydroxide solution first option 0 0.056 liter second 0 0.56 liter third option 5.6 liter fourth option 11.2 liter just to think which formula will be used or how will be used which concept will be used here just to think now i am giving you hint 2.5 molal ammonium hydroxide means 2.5 moles of nh3 in 1000 gram of h2o correct only then molal solution will be prepared molal solution is prepared per thousand gram not not per thousand ml that is for molarity capital m here molality is there small m difference you understand molarity and molality molarity in liter and molality a small m that is in kg it means in 1 kg 2.5 mole of ammonia must be present correct then what is the meaning of 2.5 mole of ammonia how we will make ammonia then you know that uh, this uh, ammonia must be dissolved in water 
ammonia gas but must be dissolved in water then it it will form nh4oh ammonium hydroxide okay ammonium hydroxide solution will be formed hence 2.5 molal ammonium hydroxide means 2.5 moles of nh3 in 1000 g of h2o hence 100 cc solution required how much easily you can calculate how many mole mole you calculate 1000 1000 kg 1000 kg uh, required 1000 kg means how many how many m may you can say milliliter that also you have to think here it is important it is in kg but you have to prepare 100 uh, this thing uh, according to the question in 100 ml you have to make 100 ml 2.5 but solution is in kg in gram 1000 gram then gram you have to convert in in uh, ml milliliter or cc both are same then how then just i think in the beginning you have solved one numericals actually at stp question is given at stp then stp what density of water will be 1 density of water will be 1 means whole what is the gram that it will be ml density is equal to mass by volume correct and density is equal to 1 at stp then mass and volume both will be same hence 1000 g you can write in 1000 cc then in 1000 2.5 mole is required then in 1 cc then in 100 cc then in 100 cc 0.25 mole correct one for 1000 cc required 2.5 then for 1 1000 divided by 2.5 For uh, this, uh, for one thousand cc required two point five mole, two point five mole. For one thousand required two point five mole. Then for one two point five divided by thousand. Then for hundred into hundred. Then hundred by thousand only ten will remain. Then two point five divided by ten. Then it will it will become point two five. Correct, point two five. Then now this uh, you cal you calculated point two five mole. Point two five mole is required. Then now point two five mole means how many liter? How many liter? Point two five mole means how many liter? Then in one liter twenty two point four liter. One mo one mole means uh, one mole means twenty. 2.4 liter in one in one mole, then uh, in 0.25 mole how many liter? Then uh, 0.25 just to multiply it, 0.25 into 22.4 liter, it will become one fourth of 22.4 liter. That is the 5.6 liter. Then uh, answer will be option C. 5.6 liter, okay. Then uh, this uh, question you have solved. That is the volume of volume of NH3 gas uh, required. How much volume is required for NH3? Then that is the 5.6 liter. Because the ammonia gas when you will dissolve in water, then obviously it will become ammonia hydroxide. Then ammonia gas how much is required? Uh, How much it is required? That was that was the important. Then now we calculated 0.25 mole ammonia is required. 0.25 mole. Then 0.25 mole means 0.25 mole ammonia means how many liter ammonia? Then just to multiply by 22.4 liter one mole means 22.4 liter. Then 0.25 mole means one fourth. That is a five point six liter. Okay. Now 
uh, today I am stopping only here next class again I will continue thank you